everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with the layout and this is using my stash. What I'm showing you right now is the uh, die cuts from, a lot of them is from the June Scraptastic kit, but I decide not to use that. Instead, uh, with the challenge for October, I want to use 10 embellish embellishment packages from my stash and I decide to go just with that. So this is the, I had a uh, embellishment package from Ellie Studio and that's the backing. Like that's the package itself and I really love the color of blue and it had you know white little polka dots and lines and it just fit perfectly with this picture he's wearing it's my grandson he's wearing a hat a baseball hat so it just went really well and then that die cut boys will be boys it went really well with that so then I decide to instead I just bought this captured life 12 no six by six paper pad a few months ago and I'm trying to use stuff from my stash so I took that out and I pulled out a few pattern papers that were sort of really bright and really fun and it really went well with a little boy page that is full of energy and just <laughs> it just reminded me of him because he is always I wish I could bottle up his energy and just kind of open it up when I need it because if I had half his energy I would get so much done in the run of a week it would it, it, it's insane he just gets up in the morning and you know right away he just wants to start playing kicking the ball and then he runs and runs and runs and just the energy and that's what I want to talk about is that 20 months the amount of energy that he has and and how he's just obsessed with soccer balls. Like he just, he plays soccer all day. That's the only toy he plays with is a soccer ball. Like I have no idea what to get for that kid for Christmas because it's really no sense to buy him anything else because he will not play with anything else. If it's not a ball of some kind, he likes football, soccer balls, he likes a hockey stick and a hockey puck. But if it's not sports related he doesn't want it he doesn't want to play with it so <laughs> it's just so funny and another thing I want to talk about too on this page is how much he eats I, I just can't believe that his little body I keep telling him like where do you put it all like he just eats and eats and eats and eats he just loves to eat and he just you know he's French and English but when he wants to eat he says manger 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 you know he just wants to eat and so that's what I'm going to document on this layout. So at first I wanted to um, use the 6x6 six six paper pad the way it was. And then I thought, you know, for the last little bit you've been, because I've been trying to use a little bit more 6x6 six six paper pad because a lot of times now, inst instead of buying the whole full collection, collections I really like, I'll just buy the 6x6 six six paper pad. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I have enough 12x12 12 12 paper pads. I I have enough 6x6 six six paper pad too. But if I really like a collection and um, instead of buying the 12x12, 12 12, I'll just get the 6x6. Six six and it just gives me, you know, new papers that I really love. And second is because a lot of times the 12x12 12 12 pattern paper, they charge me an extra $10 to send it here. So at least I get the nice pattern papers and I don't have to pay the extra money. So now I'm, I'm digging through my stash um, even more and there's the snap studio cards and I had some that are for boys and um, then I find these vellum stickers that have been in my stash forever. I don't even know who makes it. I'm gonna show it quickly here uh, right there. It is die cuts with a view. That is so old. That must be uh, over 10 years old. Anyway, it's stickers about boys. So I'm going to take out five of them. One is the definition of run. And it says to move rapidly on foot so that both feet are momentarily off the ground in each step. And <laughs> that's him. I don't think his feet touch the ground so much. And then the other one says, oh boy, such a charmer uh, and little all-star. And then the definition of jump to bend the knees and push the whole body quickly off a surface or the ground. And I mean, he just jumps, jumps, jumps and runs. And and I just thought it, it was cute to document that, you know, 
for how he is right at this moment. Because as you're living it, you really think that you're going to remember that forever. But things become faint as as they do new things that are um, funny or cute or things they say. So if it's written down, like I go back and look at my albums and I'm like, oh, yes, I remember when he said that, you know, or he did that like for my son. And it's just nice to see. And then, you know, once in a while, I'll take out an album and I'll, I'll show Josh. And he thinks that's so funny to the stuff that I've documented. But it, I can tell he's got that smirk on his face. And, you know, he likes it. He likes the little stories that are behind it. So at this point, I just thought, you know, you fuse a 6 by 6 paper pad in 6 by 6 form a few times in the last month or so. So... You know, try to do something else. So then I cut the pa the pattern papers to about two and a half by six. I tried different ways. I tried straight. And then I thought, no, um, I didn't find there was enough color. I wanted more, more colors, more, again, just to kind of show his super ac activity. You know, he's so active. And um, so while I'm thinking, because once you've cut it down, yes, I have a second six by six pattern paper, but I don't like, you know, if I can take a few extra minutes and think about it instead of just cutting. So while I'm thinking, I'm moving on to something else. So I'm cutting down those stickers so that they don't have the white edge around it so that I can see, you know, more what they look like. And while I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking, mm, maybe I should cut these pattern papers down to one inch and then the color will change more often so that it's more bright. So that's what I decide to do. I take each pattern paper and I cut it down to one inch stripes. And then I'm going to form my background like that. So basically six by 12, just using multi, you know, one inch strips. So and then I'm going to glue those down. And usually when I get down to the end of a kit is when I start using scraps. And I've done little strips like this, you know, horizontally vertically diagonally in clusters right behind the photo like just many different ways but this time it wasn't scraps it was full six by six pattern papers and I just wanted that color so I'm going to play around with the placement of everything and then once I like the placement I'll just commit and glue it down so while I'm you know basically that's all I'm going to do I'm going to glue those downs glue those down and then I'm going to take a one inch strip of white cardstock and I'm going to do I'm going to follow the same pattern and I'm going to make a border for the top and the bottom so while I'm doing that I've had a few people ask me because um, back in I think it was in May um, I mentioned that I was going to start doing online classes and I thought it was going to be released around October, November. So I've had a few people ask, you know, when, when is your class going to be? Well, due to, um, in September, I was sick the whole month. In October, I started an eye infection. And as a matter of fact, the eye infection is still there. It's not gone. At least I can see out of the eye now, but, um, I'm going to go see my doctor next week. So hopefully we can get that resolved. But, um, so I've just decided to, to sort of put it on hold till next year. I'm still working on it. And, um, but when you're unable to see for almost a month, it's really hard to get anything done. But um, it's still in the works. And okay, sorry, I had to stop the recording because it was really lagging. I've actually done this recording, I think three or four times. And the last time, anyway, the, the voiceover, you couldn't even hear me. So um, I just want to make sure that it's recording. So it's still in the works. And then... Um, you know, I've been doing, I've been on YouTube now for almost two years. I have over 350 videos, process videos on YouTube. I have over 500 videos, whether it's hauls or, you know, um, what's in my kit or uh, paper selection or whatever the case may be. How to, you know, uh, or product reviews or whatever the case is I have 500 and almost 40 videos and so I'm, I'm just having fun um, 
being on YouTube. It's been really quite the experience for me. And while I, I, I'm talking to you and I have a second, uh, cause it's funny how at the beginning, when I started doing video, when I had to do a 10 or 15 minute video, it just felt like it was forever. Like I didn't know what to say. Now I have a 10, 15 minute video. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm at the end of the video and I didn't say everything I wanted to say. So I was kind of glad this video was like 20 minutes so that I would have a chance to, I just want to thank you guys for all the comments, the likes, um, you're sharing my videos, the rhythm that my subscribers are going right now. It's like unbelievable. Like it, it's going up and up and up really quickly. And it's all due to you guys. Um, I mean, you're amazing. I, I just wanted to say thank you. And if you've noticed a little change on my YouTube channel, I did start adding uh, ads to my YouTube videos. And I just, again, want to thank you for your thumbs up, your comments. Um, all those help the recording stopped again. So anyway, I was just saying that all those thumbs up, the comments and uh, people share the videos on Twitter and Google Plus. And so just thank you so much. Um, I, for those of you that have are new to my channel, I have 350 scrapbooking process video. I have over 500 videos on my channel. And some of them are how to or product reviews or, you know, kit share or kill a kit. And um, so I try to have, you know, a variety of um, videos on my channel. And, uh, you know, as my career, I, I'm an ambulance dispatcher and I've been there for eight years. And I've, you know, I'm going to be 49 <laughs> next year. So I'm, you know, kind of thinking of plan B, you know, what am I going to do um, once I can't dispatch anymore because it's super stressful job. And I've been scrapbooking for 17 years. I've taught classes for 10 years of that. And um, I used to bring like loads and loads, loads of stuff to classes and stuff and to the point that I, you know, wrecked my back. So the internet is such a an amazing platform and YouTube is such so amazing and it's got so many opportunities and people are making a living on YouTube so I um, you're gonna see I, I wouldn't say changes I mean now there's you know commercials on my my videos you're gonna see changes as far as um, I mean I upload every second day as it is but I'm going to start uploading maybe a little bit more often and maybe uh, more different things like um, I'm still going to do the hip kit club, um, which I figure I'm going to have between eight and 10 pages. And then the rest of my videos, uh, I'm going to try and like this month, I'm featuring December daily, for example, and I'm trying to upload as many December dailies as I can. So I just want to let you know that um, um, you're going to see not major changes, but you're probably going to see more, <laughs> more videos, if anything. And, um, and I, again, I just want to say thank you. Um, you guys are making this possible for me and it's, it, it is a dream come true to, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to keep that. They say, I'm going to keep my day job <laughs> and, um, just really work, uh, on my YouTube channel and, um, try to bring that up to the next level, I guess. So I just want to update you on what's going on with the online class and uh, what's going to be happening here on YouTube. So uh, back to the layout. And again, I did a lot of the video and it didn't tape. So hopefully I didn't say this already, but basically glued those little strips onto a one inch strip. Then I cut them down and I just kind of put a border at the top and the bottom. And now I'm going to be working on those stickers. And a lot of those stickers came from the die cuts with a view package. And that's uber old, like it's t at least 10 years old. 
And then I took a punch, a three inch punch from my stash and I punched out a couple of half circles, three of them I guess. And in the same pattern papers that I used to sort of do my background, and I'm gonna put it in three different areas. And with that, I'm gonna start building sort of the movement on my page. So to add extra movement, I'm gonna take out this stencil, and I think it's from Stencil Girl or something like that. And it's um, a newer stencil that I got not that long ago, I'd say in the last month or so. So I'm loving that I'm using super old stuff with newer stuff. And then I'm using my Cure Arts ink. I'm using the, I think it's uh, lime green. Yes, it is lime green from Cure Arts and the navy. And then the orange, I still have it right here. It's apricot. And you would think apricot wouldn't be very orange, but it's very orangey and I, I really like it. And I'm adding different circles in different sizes. And again, it's to add movement to the layout. Really loving that. And what I'm gonna do is that's, I got the big cir half circle and then I got two other sizes of circle. And then with that now, I'm gonna try and add other sizes of circle and at first I'm going to take out a bunch of enamel dots because I'm trying to not enamel dots sequins because I'm trying to use up my sequins I have a ton of sequins a bunch from doodle bug and a bunch from different uh, studio calico and, and different things but for this layout it just didn't work because I wanted the circles to be different sizes and because um, the sequins are all one size it didn't work for this layout, but I am going to, through, going to go through the whole trouble of taking some blue and green and orange sequins. And then I'm going to start putting them out on the layout and then I'm going to go, eh, you know, I really want the different sizes of circles. So then I'm going to put that all away and you're going to see me pulling out some enamel dots. So I'm going to take a few seconds here and as soon as I put them out, I'm like, uh, I really wanted the circles to be different sizes. So it looks like a bouncing ball, if that makes any sense. So there I go. I just kind of going to push them all off to the side and I'm taking out my enamel dots. So now I'm looking for, I'm going to take out some dark green, light green, orange and navy enamel dots. And I also use some asterisks on this from a freckled fawn uh, pass kit. And I put three asterisks on the layout. And um, <laughs> I think I should have canceled my Freckle Fawn kit sooner because ever since I've canceled the kit, I, uh, I've been using my Freckle Fawn kit a whole lot more because I kind of said, okay, well, you can't be a member again until all your kits are used up because I have 13 kits sitting there. So now I'm using my kits up because, you know, I want, I want, I want to get them again. <laughs> so... I am actually using my freckle fawn kits. So that's good. It was a good move because now I'm going to be using my stash of freckle fawn embellishments. And, our, and uh, in October, the challenge was to use 10 embellishment package. And I'm keeping that going. I think every month I'm just, I don't think I'm going to, I might take 10 because I really liked, I'm not sure, you know, I really liked the, um, the variety of embellishments but then again I found it really hard to get 10 done um, but I guess the goal is just going to be to use as much as I can maybe out of those 10 and that worked out really well I got most of the embellishments used up the only thing that I would say that I didn't use very much of was those vellum stickers and you know when I put them in the um, in the packages to use I knew they were going to be hard to use so at least I used half of them I believe at this point I went and got some Mr. Huey because now I'm going to add three colors of ink or mist and that's going to make even smaller dots. So you got the punch circle which was bigger than the stencil which was you know medium size. Then the enamel dots were a little smaller and now I'm going to add some mist which is going to be even smaller than that. So I really um, and, and the mist is going to be in the blue, the green, and the orange, same tones. 
So this page was a lot of fun. It took a long time to do, but it was still a lot of fun to get done. So if um, you want to see more close-ups, you can join me on my Facebook group and the link is in the description. And every month I issue a challenge on my Facebook group, you know, to get her done. And then uh, if you want to see more close-ups, you can join me on my blog. And I am a little behind, but I'm going to try and catch up there. I have my grandson this week, so it's a little bit harder to get anything done. But um, as soon as, as I get a few minutes, I'm going to, you know, be uploading that, um, the pages to my blog. And right now I'm going to add some navy and white twine. And I just use my quick dry adhesive and I, I could just kind of use the twine. I kind of ball it up between, you know, around one my, around my finger and then just kind of knot it through and it squeeze it tight against my finger and it just makes a little loop-de-loop -loop thing and I really like that it just adds a little something a little extra something to the page and it keeps going with the theme of the circles right and here are a few close-ups so again if um, you enjoyed the video um, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and letting YouTube know that you enjoyed it so that's it thanks for watching bye